It is certainly a week of celebrations from Mother's Day to Cinco de Mayo. And here to tell us about the little known history of these holidays is Heinz History Center President and CEO Andy Masick. And Andy, we're ready to be educated and enlightened. <laughs> but first, first tell us about Cinco de Mayo because there is a little known connection with Pittsburgh. Well, you know, Cinco de Mayo is the time we celebrate uh, Mexican heritage. Uh, it's it's really a story of war. Uh, during the American Civil War, Mexico was fighting its own civil war. Benito Juarez was the president of Mexico. Abraham Lincoln was the president of the United States. But the French invaded Mexico during the American Civil War because the Americans couldn't do anything about it. We were, we were locked in uh, battle. And Pittsburgh was the arsenal of the Union, producing all of the weapons and munitions for the war, some of which got sent across the border to Mexico to help uh, Benito Juarez. Oh, how so, fascinating. Yeah, uh, this, there, there's always a Pittsburgh connection, isn't there, Andy? There is always a Pittsburgh connection. And so today we celebrate with margaritas and cerveza and, uh, uh, and fun, but it's really about commemorating a victory of the Mexicans over Napoleon Bonaparte's nephew, Louis Napoleon, who invaded Mexico in 1862. And the hero of the Battle of Puebla, the battle in Mexico, Zaragoza, died at the same time Allegheny Arsenal blew up and the deadliest day of the Civil War occurred. So it sounds awful, but it's really a time to celebrate a David and Goliath struggle, Mexico versus the French Empire. Interesting. So many facts in your head, Andy. I don't know how you keep it, keep it all together. So let's talk about Mother's Day because it's approaching and Another connection, this one a, a little bit away from Pittsburgh, about 100 miles south. Yeah, in Grafton, West Virginia, uh, a woman named Anna Jarvis said, hey, we need a day to honor mothers. Uh, Anna herself was a nurse during the Civil War. Uh, she was a nurturing personality, and she felt that mothers needed a day. And she petitioned Congress to get a special day set aside. And those hard-hearted congressmen said, hey, if we have a Mother's Day, then we're going to have to have a Mother-in-Law's Day. And, you know, that's just too much. But she was persistent. And finally, Mother's Day became a, a, a United States tradition. And today, I can't think of a better holiday because, you know, we all had mothers. No one will ever love us the way our mothers loved us. And we couldn't do it without them. You know, her persistence makes me think that she was probably a great mom, but she didn't have children. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, the world became uh, her children. And, uh, and by honoring mothers, uh, she honors us all in some way. And, uh, you know, you're a mom, Heather, and you know what it, that special bond between children and mothers no one will ever love us like our mother. That is true. Through it's, your faults and all. <laughs> it's so true. Hey, thank you, Andy. Thank you so much for joining and educating us as you always do. Hey, happy Cinco de Mayo, and uh, let's, I'll be toasting you with a margarita tomorrow. Oh, I'll say cheers good. to that. I all don't right. think there's a Pittsburgh connection to May the 4th be with you, but... Maybe There's we can ask probably not. We should year. have asked it. <laughs> <laughs> well, our thanks to Andy. And speaking of learning, in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week, the Heinz History Center is offering free admission to teachers during the month of May. Yeah, so all educators, grades K through 12 and college, you need a valid teacher ID, and they are eligible for free admission all month long. That's a great little perk there.